I take back what I said about 305 being a crappy spoof movie because this next movie actually has hit the mother load of all terrible spoof movies. Anybody uh, remember those two um, Hollywood movies called Charlie's Angels and Charlie's Angels Full Throttle? A lot of people loved them and some people hated them because apparently it was a remake of a TV show or movie or whatever. I never watched the original stuff. I plan to one day because I love the movies. Some, for some, for some, 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 somebody, some reason, someone just, sorry about that. Someone decided to spoof those movies. Ghetto style. In the 100th, blah, 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 blah. It, it, we're talking about Carlito's Angels. Yes, this movie actually exists. I thought it was supposed to be like, I knew it was going to be a spoof, but I thought it was going to be like a really funny, erotic uh, comedy. Boy, was I wrong. Uh, not only is the camera work awful and the quality awful, the acting, if you want to even call it acting, is awful. And let's talk about the back cover the most. Usually on the back covers of movies, you'll get the description and you'll get pictures. Seems like they wanted to throw it all in together right here. All of it. I mean, like, half of the paragraphs of the description is crammed in the middle like it's trying to escape between the pictures and it's dying to get loose. Obviously, this movie's rated R for perverse language, sexuality, and drug use. Uh, all I can really say is it about strippers helping Carlito. I watched part of this movie... Until I saw a, uh, probably one of the worst acting fight scenes I've seen in my life. So I turned it off. A week later, I came back, and this is a true story. It's exactly what I did. Came back, tried rewatching the movie. Got through the entire movie, because it, it really isn't even that long. If I'm correct, yeah, it's not even really that long. However, it's made by a company called Independent Cinema. So, I'm going to give them credit because I do love independent films. But there are some movies out there that are so independent that they're unwatchable. Unfortunately, Carlitos Angels is one of those. If you really, really just want to see strippers running around fighting and just trying, if if even if even you want to call it spoofing, trying to do anything, go for this movie. I found this at the beach, and it was like five dollars, and I picked it up at a flea market. So the person who was selling it probably was really glad to get rid of it. I felt like a sucker for getting it. I got it because I have never heard of it before. It looked like it would suck. Boy, did it! really blow me away on how sucky it was like i think anything by this company must suck although i have to say from what i can tell in the booklet inside it is by the same company who made demon lust but demon lust is a whole nother story of independent trash and it is one movie that i'm actually Glad I am never getting rid of because, yeah, it's really bad. Anyways, Carlitos Angels, don't watch this, ever. I give it a 0 0.1 out of 10. That point one is because there was actually a watchable film. And not something that I just had on as background noise. Yeah. So thanks for watching and have a great day.